it's so important to have wonderful Pahutakawa trees that I'm looking at here in the forecourt, uh, and native birds and all the insects as an integral part of our urban environments um, so that they uh, support our lives, but they make our urban environments um, thrilling and enlivening places to be. Kia ora tato te whano. It's a great pleasure to be standing here in the forecourt of the cathedral to talk about this year's nativity project, the regeneration one. This is fundamentally important because humanity has created two enormous co-crises. The first one is climate breakdown, and the second one is ecosystem collapse. And the two are very interdependent, and the cause of one is often the cause of the other. So that's why we're seeking solutions that not only deal with one, but deliver other benefits on the other side as well, and vice versa. That's why the whole concept of nature-based solutions um, is coming right to the forefront of um, our response to these two co-crises of climate and biodiversity. So that's why native trees are so important, because native trees are the most extraordinary example of millions, tens of millions of years of evolution with these extraordinary ecosystems, which are symbiotic, and the dependence of one species on the other is so intricately connected in this extraordinary web of life. Secondly, those ecosystems are um, self-governing. They are self-restraining. So, uh, and we see this when we get an invasive species here, like jasmine or ginger, completely overrunning and strangling a native bush. So that doesn't happen in a native forest um, because it's a perfectly balanced ecosystem. Now, what we humans have been up to here in Aotearoa is we have brought about, um, particularly over the last almost 200 years, one of the fastest and most severe destructions of native habitat and ecosystems the world has ever seen. Now, if we take Europe, for example, that went on over thousands of years, but we compress that into a very short time frame. So thus, here in Tamaki Makoro, there used to be wonderful kauri forests um, that blanketed much of this area, almost all gone. And, and the ecosystems we have left are, are very poor and weak by comparison. And we need strong, resilient ecosystems because they are our, literally our life support system. And the stronger those are, and the better chance humanity has for survival. So that's the really big context about why natives are so important and why exotic species are, are, are a serious handicap. So for example, we grow lots of radiata pine in New Zealand for one reason only, because they grow very fast and you can harvest them after about 20 years. But first of all, they are not good wood. They are not rot resistant. They're not structurally strong. They're not particularly attractive. In comparison, native trees are all of those things. Now, we're learning to do some other stuff with exotics like store carbon. That's okay, but uh, those um, exotic plantations are very weak on biodiversity. And then you don't get the wealth of species coming back into that uh, exotic bush the way you do with, with a native one. So that's why natives are so important because it supports us, it supports insects, birds, all the other species one could imagine. Now, that sounds like an issue for um, the wild and rural parts of New Zealand. What about urban New Zealand? Well, the first thing about urban New Zealand is we are very odd in New Zealand. We largely define ourselves as a people and as a country by our rural and wild parts and by our, our, our rural economy. But in fact, we are about the 31st most urbanized population in the world. The French and the Germans are less urbanized than we are. And that's a simple definition, people living in towns of 10,000 or more. So we're very urbanized, but we don't think about ourselves as urban people. And therefore we are very careless and very casual about our urban environments. We can see that with how devastatingly we develop those environments. Uh, what the pressure is, for example, on um, to sell off uh, the, the fragment of Koei Forest um, just down the road there. So 
as humankind is increasingly migrating to cities, uh, 2007 was the year that the UN decided that more than 50% of people lived in cities. And that number is, has only increased, that percentage, and is growing very fast. So we have to create cities which are very uh, beautiful and functional to live in. And that's why it's so important to bring nature back into the cities in very profound ecosystem ways. Not pretty things like a little pocket park with a few trees, um, but um, in, a, in a very, very rich way. And again, that's why it's so important to have wonderful pahutakawa trees that I'm looking at here in the forecourt uh, and native birds and all the insects as an integral part of our urban environments um, so that they uh, support our lives, but they make our urban environments um, thrilling and enlivening places to be, to live. So that's the importance of urban. And so we urban New Zealanders, I, I'm a wholly urban New Zealander. I love being out in native bush. I love being out in wild parts, but my life is largely here in the center of the city. That's why we um, urban New Zealanders have to bring nature back into our cities very profoundly and learn to define ourselves, define an, an, a, a, a Kiwi urbanity, if you like, that gives expression to us as New Zealanders in that natural context um, but very much in that urban setting. So that now brings me on to the third theme I really want to talk about, uh, which was uh, COP26 in Glasgow, the first two weeks of November. This was the most extraordinary hui of humanity. Uh, over 40,000 people from 197 countries, uh, only a handful, sadly, mostly from small nations in the Pacific, weren't able to get anybody to Glasgow. This, of course, is the annual United Nations climate negotiations. And what we're seeing there in recent years, uh, amongst many important and positive shifts, um, is that um, nature-based solutions as I, are coming right to the fore of how we understand uh, how we solve this. So yes, electric cars, fine. Um, yes, solar panels, fine. Those are all good things to do. But they, in themselves, they don't restore ecosystems. So that's why we need uh, climate solutions that restore ecosystems. And that's why in New Zealand, uh, we have a really important role to play. Because of all the countries in the world, we have the largest stock of natural capital per person of any country outside the major oil and gas producers. So that means we have this extraordinary natural capital, which we have squandered, uh, which we need to cherish and restore. And so farmers have a tremendous role to play in that because they produce food, but they also have the ability to substantially um, help restore ecosystems as well. And that just brings us back to the native forests. So that was immensely exciting um, in Glasgow to be part of that hui of humanity where I was surrounded, for, immersed for two weeks um, and surrounded by people who are steely eyed about how big the issues are and how little time we have to solve them. Undaunted, they are creative and relentless in their pursuit of solutions. And most importantly of all, they are very articulate and very direct about what has to change and tell people that. But they go out there and cooperate, see, seek people to work with, uh, to build the coalitions to make stuff happen. And again, I stress that point about um, uh, indigenous rights and human rights coming to the fore to help protect in particular um, indigenous forests um, and uh, ecosystems around the world. So that brings us all the way back to this nativity scene. Nativity is, is Advent, it's the start of a new beginning. And so this key word in this year's um, nativity project, regeneration is so fundamentally important because we humans have devastated um, the world so comprehensively. We have a huge role to play um, in helping nature restore itself in that regeneration. Um, and that's why this is a perfect, perfect um, theme for this year's nativity. And of course, there are, it's a way also of supporting fabulous organizations such as Trees That Count uh, that are doing brilliant work around this. And so it's fabulous that the cathedral has them as the partner in this because they're doing a fantastic opportunity. So please, please, please buy trees. Please help this nativity project 
help restore our life support systems.